Hi you guys, look who it is, look who is back. Like the videos are like boom, 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 lately back to back. But anyways, you guys, as you can tell by the title of this video and a couple of people have asked for it, <laughs> excuse me, um, this is my 2023 wish list or my luxury wish list for 2023. And you guys all know, like I have this issue, like last year I kind of said the same thing. It's difficult to do a wish list for 2023 because there's so many things that have not even come out yet. So like I, I couldn't know that I wanted them because they're not out yet. So really it's going to be like my wish list for what has come out in 2022. But then I also have <laughs> like one big thing that's definitely a wish list item for 2023 that I will share with you as well. Um, but you guys, before we hop into today's video, let's give a shout out to our sponsor. So you guys, a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. It is Italo Jewelry, you guys. This is a brand that we all know and love. This is my second collaboration with Italo. Um, I did a previous collaboration with them and I'll be sure to link the video and the cards above and then also post the thumbnail once we get back into the intro. But you guys, I am so happy to be working with this brand again. Their jewelry is amazing. It's extremely high quality. It's gorgeous. I am obsessed. So let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. So fresh out of the packaging, this is how the jewelry comes. Absolutely stunning velvet boxes with Italo jewelry inscribed on the front. So pretty and I love their little logo. It's a little diamond ring. So inside of each Italo package, it comes with a couple different things. So aside from the jewelry, it's also gonna come with this adorable um, little pouch. You guys, I'm obsessed with these when I travel. I put all my jewelry in them. You're also going to get the silver polishing cloth because they do use sterling silver as noted in the certificate here. Like I said, you guys, the brand is extremely high quality. So this is going to be instructions on how to make a return, you guys. Their return policy is super easy. So with Italo, you guys, they do free worldwide shipping. You get a 60-day warranty and free returns. So with Italo Jewelry, you guys, they do provide free shipping worldwide. You get a 60-day return policy and a one-year warranty on any jewelry purchase from Italo, you guys. It is absolutely amazing. So let's get into the stunning pieces I chose today. And then I'm also going to show you um, and kind of give you a little update on my previous, um, previous jewelry from them. Okay, literally just look at these stunning earrings, you guys. I believe these are emerald cut. I believe that's what this cut is known as, but look at how gorgeous they are. The sparkle is incredible. So this ring is gorgeous. The diamonds go all the way around the finger, which I love. It's also extremely comfortable to wear. Um, I love how it looks when the natural sunlight hits it. You guys, these are absolutely stunning. I feel like a million bucks. I'm obsessed. You can just tell the quality is 
absolutely stunning. Like I said, it is sterling silver, you guys, so they're gonna last forever. I'm obsessed with Italo jewelry, you guys. It's extremely high quality for amazing prices. Be sure to check out their website. I'll leave all the good stuff down in the description box below per usual. I can't stop staring. <laughs> so another huge shout out to Italo Jewelry for sponsoring today's video. So again, another huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And now without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right in. But first, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And follow me on Instagram at Brie Car Amore, all one word, all spelled out, you guys. Let's get into the video. And now I'm stargazing. You dang for the star, but I've been scarred lately. Taking keys, stealing car, we just some lost babies. Lit too fast, now I'm grown. Excuses in my head, I ain't thinking I'm wrong. All right, so this wish list is definitely not organized, but let me grab my handy dandy iPad. Um, there's so many things that like, and I love to do this. I found this random notebook yesterday because I'm so excited, you guys. I cleaned out my closet, my closet in my, my master bedroom, and I can finally see the floor, <laughs> which is a huge accomplishment for me because probably not even gonna lie to you for the past at least year, if not longer, I've not seen the floor of my closet. So I finally <laughs> hung everything up and got it organized. So I'm really happy about that. I don't know what made me say that. Anyways, I don't know where I was going with that. But anyways, so the swish list is definitely not organized. Yeah, I have no idea how I was going to connect those two things. Anyways, maybe when I go back and watch this clip, I'll be like, oh, that's what it was. So my wish list is very disorganized. I did kind of put it in my iPad. So let me just see. Where is it? 2023 wish list. It's kind of all over the place, but let's just start. Okay, so I feel like maybe I should just say the biggest thing first. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, you guys, and I think I might have mentioned this on 2022's wish list. I'm not sure. Maybe I didn't, but and I but I've know I've said it before. I'm going to get a new house. I'm getting a new house. I'm building a new house. Um so this is definitely number 1 on my 2023 wish list because I think the years prior or maybe not the year but last year prior when I started thinking about getting a new house or building a new house, buying a new house, what have you. Um I was just saying it and knew that I wanted to do it but I didn't really have like a floor plan picked out or a builder in mind or anything like that. I just knew that pretty soon it was gonna be time to build another house. And I'll tell you the main reason why, some people might think this is shallow or superficial. However, if you guys truly know me and you've been watching my channel for a long time or you're my family, like Bianca knows what I'm about to say. Number one sign that it's time to build a new house. And there's actually two reasons, but definitely number one is when I say I literally cannot fit another item in my closet upstairs, it is packed to the brink. It's packed to the rim. Like I cannot buy another bag. I cannot buy another book tote for sure. There is no room. Like it's overflowing to the point where like the things on the shelves kind of look junky and that's not cute. So that was definitely like sign number one, reason number one that I knew, okay, you're probably outgrowing this house. So for those of you who don't know, um, and I'm gonna put up here, I'll have Bianca do it, link the, maybe like my home tour or like my home building story, I don't know. Maybe we'll put both of them. Um, either up there or down there in the description box below. But, so this house is 2,500 square foot. It is four bedrooms and one, two, two and a half bathrooms. So the second reason why I know that it's time for me to build a new house and that I'm outgrowing this house is because Upstairs, so two of the bedrooms are for me. There's three bedrooms upstairs, guest bedrooms technically. One of them is my office, I'll put a picture here. The other is my closet room, I'll put a picture there. So that only leaves one guest bedroom for my family. Now there is a um, like a couch in my office that does lay out to a futon. However, my dad and Bianca have told me that it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. And like, I mean, it's not really functional because now, especially now that I have, <laughs> I'm, get, I'm just gonna say it. I got I got myself a new computer. It's one of my early Christmas presents. It's an iMac. I'll, you'll see it in a haul later. But now that the cat's out of the bag, um, especially since I have now a desktop computer, like it doesn't make sense to keep moving because I would kind of rearrange the room, like make the desk into like a, a console table. 
Um, that way there was more space in there, but now that I have a desktop computer, it really doesn't make sense to keep moving things around. So that being said, I said all that to say, I need more rooms. Now, if you know me, you also know that my family is very important to me and that they visit me often. So my dad is actually gonna be here next weekend. Bianca will be here the weekend after that. My dad is retired, so he always comes and stays like a month and a half with me um, around Christmas time and so does Bianca. Now my mom typically visits me, not even kidding, like every other month. That's her new thing and I think her goal is to visit me like every month going forward and then uh, my dad also visits for his birthday he usually will come for my birthday bianca and braxton always come for my birthday so i have a lot of family visitors um and that's probably even more important than my closet to me obviously is that i have room for my family and that my house is comfortable for my family when they come and visit so and then another thing i will say so the bathroom that is upstairs it's a good size bathroom it's one of those with like double sinks it's got a bathtub and a shower however one bathroom especially when like my dad bianca and braxton are all, all here at the same time that one bathroom up there is not enough for three people um like when my mom was here it was my mom my godmom, my baby brother and my baby sister and that it's just not enough room it's just not plausible so I need more bathrooms upstairs and I definitely need more guest rooms. So, and I just love this. Thank you, Jesus, because this is literally like how God works for me. He will like stir it up in my soul. And I'll tell you how I know that it's like really, really time and that we're getting really close. So first of all, something kind of cool and sentimental. This time back in 2017 was actually, it was the same month, almost down to the day. Um, when I started like really thinking about building my first house and when I picked out my floor plan and knew the exact neighborhood and exact floor plan that I wanted to build. Another thing about me is that I literally like it's never like oh I'm between this house, this house, and this house or this car, this car, this car. I always know exactly what car I want, what house I want and it's always just like a what is that word? Tunnel vision and I'm focused on that and that's what I get. So I say all that to say um, again, with it being kind of the same, almost not, not kind of, but almost exactly the same time back in 2017 when I started getting myself prepared to build my house. So 2017 of November, I was still working retail and God was kind of stirring it up in me and I picked out my floor plan. I knew the neighborhood that I wanted to live in. And that December, I got an offer letter from a job making like quadruple what I was making. And then that May, I um, bought my lot and by <laughs> October of 2018, I was in my house. So it goes very fast from this place, which is always exciting, but honestly, like just a moment of like gratitude and thank you God, because like literally from working retail and granted, I it was a well-paying retail job and I probably could have still built my house, but literally from essentially not having the job that could have afforded the home to within a month of deciding I was gonna build, getting a job that was exactly what I needed to build the house that I wanted to January, February, March, April, May, five months after working there, buying my lot, and then October moving in, like, <sighs> amazing. Thank you, Jesus, praise break, all that. So, okay, I feel like I'm being long-winded, but I'm really, really excited if you can't tell. So again, going back to the timeline, so like I said, this time back in 2017 was like exactly the time that I knew the house that I wanted. I really knew that I was gonna build my home. Me and God were like getting aligned and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. So, so I will say up until probably a couple days ago, I had a builder and a floor plan in mind. Like I, I picked out this house and I was like, okay, this is the house that I'm gonna build. And probably I've had this house on my mind for probably a couple of months. Now, I just so happened, and I think I'm following him. Um, if I can find the um, realtor's name, I'll, I'll put it somewhere, maybe in the description box. But basically, it popped up on Instagram. Now, this is somebody I follow. He's a realtor, and they're always like posting beautiful homes. And he posted this one home, and I showed Bianca, and she was like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. So he posted this one home, and it's literally everything I want. I'm getting like goosebumps from the flooring to the color scheme i'm a very visual person like it's really easy for me to copy and paste people are always giving me compliments on like how i design my house but i literally just find pictures 
I like it and I literally just find out where they got the stuff and paste like so anyways the house is exactly what I want it to be down to the color scheme um, the amount of bedrooms the amount of bathrooms without giving too much away is perfect so I said all that to say I found my house I found the house that I'm gonna build which is really exciting because now from here on out it's just tunnel vision and faith so yeah hugest thing on my wishes for 2023 my new home oh but something I will say is there's a room upstairs that I'm gonna use for my closet and I'll go from having three of those Ikea um, standing shelf units to five. So it'll give me an additional two and it's a nice big room. I am gonna have to cover up two windows. I'm kind of sad, but it'll be fine. And my mom and I have already like touched and agreed. Now I do have to send her to the new house because the one that I sent her before when I told her I was gonna build a new house, it was the other one. So I have to send her this new one so we can touch and agree because what does the scripture say? Where three or more or where two or more are gathered, there God will be as well. So amen. Anyway. So that, now getting into more, I guess you could say like materialistic things. And some of these things, I feel like I'm going to get them before the end of the year. So we can't really say that. Um, but I will just start off with some things that I'm eyeing. So one thing is Van Cleef came out with this new, and I cannot say this word. It is a G word. They have one in gold, but I guess they've never done one in white gold. So I'll put it up here. It is their one, two, three, four, five. I think it's the five Alhambra bracelet in white gold. And it is gorgeous. Everybody and their mother on IG right now has the gold version. Um, real or fake, I'm not going to judge, but everybody and their mother has a gold one. So I want the white gold one. Like I just want to, I want to be a little different. And honestly, like is my heart set on this? No, not really, because the gold would definitely be more practical because that's what I wear. Like my, okay, my Rolex is gold and silver, but, <laughs> and my necklace is rose gold. Anyways, forget I said anything. But so that's on the list. Um, one thing that, again, this is probably something I'm going to get before the end of the year. Um, it is this gorgeous Prada Clio bag. Oh my gosh, it's not a Clio. I think it's just like a Prada. I think this is the Galleria Toe. So I literally have the same bag. But as you can tell, it's covered in crystals. Like crystal anything, I literally just feel like just elevates your look and your life. So yeah, need this. Oh, something that I did really, really love though, um, that I want to get. <laughs> I'll try not to get them. It's this pair of um, Valentino um, heels. And it's, I don't know, it seems like they came out with this new line, but I'll put a picture of them here and put the name on screen. They're gorgeous. Now, I like them in black. They also have a hot pink color, but I think I think I like the black more. So that is one thing. I literally am so, like, I'm really not impressed with this 2023 wish list. Oh, here's one that I really want. So it's this new pair of Chanel trainers. They're so cute. I love, like, this metallic look. They have silver and gold. Um... Let me see. I think I'm leaning towards maybe the silver. I'm really not sure. This has been on my wish list for a while. I just can't, like, I can't um, justify spending $7,000 on a Balenciaga bag. No offense to Balenciaga. But it is this Balenciaga Leica Gold bag. And I have the same one in denim, but this one is covered in crystals. Like, just a good crystal bag. Like, I just, I'm obsessed. I need every crystal bag that they come out with, so that's gorgeous. Oh, this gorgeous Chanel, um, I think this is the medium flap in caviar with, it looks like light gold hardware and it's hot pink. That's incredible. It's absolutely amazing. This is another one of those bags where I feel like I just cannot live my life without it. Like, I need it. God understands. Like, you guys might think I'm being dramatic and really superficial and materialistic, but listen, God gave me this heart. He knows what he put in it, okay? <laughs> and he gave me the desires as well. Cause you know, he gives you the desires of your heart, the secret petitions of your heart. And this Chanel bag is definitely one <laughs> the not so secret petitions of my heart. So definitely want that. Um, still on my wish list. I think this was on my wish list, maybe for fall or my birthday. It is this mini Kelly, I think it's the mini Kelly two. Um, yeah, it is too. And Epson leather in the color blue broom with gold hardware. Now, the only reason that the more appropriate time would have been to get this for my birthday, but baby, I did a lot for my birthday, okay? I didn't take a trip and I also got a freaking car. So I, I, I went overboard. 
I definitely made up for it. I think my gifts and my car this year definitely cost more than any trip that I've taken for my birthday previously. So hence why I did not get this Hermes Kelly. I did say it was going to be a thing going forward for my birthday, but um, I just felt like I was really overdoing it, especially when I bought my car. So I was like, okay, you got to stop. So I said all that to say um, the mini Kelly is definitely still on my wish list, but the color, this blue broom, it's like a, pa a pastel blue color. And obviously we're in fall going into winter and I just don't think it's appropriate. So we're obviously going to have to wait until the spring. You know, oddly enough, I have been wanting and I... <laughs> I have two of these bags already, but this Chanel um, 19 bag and the, is this the, I think it's the, either the small or the medium size. Maybe it's the medium. Um, and black lambskin. No, I think this is goat skin. Girl, don't get me to lying about a skin. Um, but I just think it's so pretty. It's so classic. And if you guys haven't noticed, my style is definitely evolving from more trendy to more uh, classic and wearable items because I'm gonna be honest with you like probably right now 85% of the items in my closet are not for everyday use like that crystal Balenciaga bag my crystal Prada Clio bag um, my hot pink Chanel 19 bag my furry <laughs> Balenciaga hourglass bag like they are literally just not for I mean I guess practical is um, is is it subjective or objective girl what is it called practical is how do you say that? That what it means, like it just, it's different for everybody. Like obviously Kim Kardashian's practical is not my practical. Um, but you know, I mean, I could I could make it practical to just wear my hot pink furry Balenciaga bag to Carabas or anyway. So I, th I think the word is subjective. Oh, help Bianca. So, but anyways, yes, that Chanel 19 bag is on there cause I just feel like it's very wearable and very classic. Um, I also want another Hermes Kelly in the size 25. Now I'm torn and I feel like there are um, ladybugs all over my house today. And I feel like that's a sign. Thank you, Jesus. Anyways, I'm torn. I know the size that I want and I do know that I want one in silver hardware, but I will say that I really want a black one. So a Kelly 25, Hermes Kelly 25, Epson leather, black with gold hardware though. I know I just said silver. Um, only because it's going to look so good on the red and black seats of my car. So, yeah. And then also the other one that I've been wanting, uh, Kelly 25 uh, Barinha leather. So it's like this really pretty brown leather, but it's kind of like, um, it's like a smooth and a little shiny uh, and silver hardware. I think that would be beautiful. So those are both fall bags. So there is a possibility that we could get them in 2023, 2023. But I'm going to be honest with you, you guys. Like I said, I'm going to be tunnel vision girl. So my main focus is obviously going to be my house because y'all know I don't do that thing where you move into the house and then you buy like a piece here and a piece there of furniture. I like to move into my house with all the furniture. Granted, I've only moved into one house, this one, but thank you, Jesus, by the grace of God. When I moved into this house, it was fully furnished. So I want to do the same thing with my new house. Oh, and that's another thing. I've literally, <laughs> I've literally, I was telling Bianca, designed and furnished the whole thing already. Like it's done. The house is done. I just am waiting on it to be built. So love that for me. It's this is just how God works for me. It's definitely my process. Like, thank you, Jesus. So I just don't know if that's going to happen for 2023. So I know I'm like all over the place, but I'll just kind of give you the timeline <laughs> for my new house. I'm going to give myself till August. I probably won't do it as early as May, but August to build my build my lot girl to buy my lot. And cause that's my birthday. So it'll be a really good birthday present for me. And then it's probably going to take them anywhere from six to eight months to build a house. So obviously, ideally I would have liked to be in the house by Christmas, but I don't think that's going to happen. So probably more like January or February of 2024. So that's the timeline. So we'll see in August, um, if we can make the splurge for a piece of land and an Hermes bag. I think there'll definitely be no trip but listen and i'm sorry i keep going off on tangents i owe bianca a graduation trip i'm taking her to south africa she like sent me this list of like bucket list places that she wanted to go to well i don't know if they're bucket list but places she wants to go to countries and that was on there and bianca graduated 
two years ago, Felicia. Now granted, this is not my fault. So it's not like I've just been procrastinating or putting her off. It's literally because COVID. So the first time was COVID and then the second time was COVID. Um, the first time was just like general COVID and then the second time it was COVID, it literally was just South Africa. So anyways, that's gotta happen in 2023 no matter what. So there you go, Bianca. <laughs> Mark my words. And the best time to go is like November, December. So now that's three things. I need to buy a piece of land. I need to buy this Hermes Kelly and I need to take Bianca to South Africa. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Woo, Jesus, help me, bless me. We need all the blessings we can get. Anyways, I said all that to say, back to the Hermes Kelly that I have picked out to match my house. So it is a Kelly 25 and FYI, all the Kellys that I ever refer to are always gonna be Salier. Um, I hate the Retorn, Retourne, whatever. I don't like that, it's very squished. I love a structured bag, like the, that Retourne, Retourne, Retorn is not giving. So here it is, hint, 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 the color. Um, and I literally am not going to get it until like I start, the, I start the process of building my house because there's no point in getting this bag if I don't have the house to match it. So it is a Kelly 25 Sally A in chai Epson leather with gold hardware. Now, honestly, I think I could, I could go either way on the hardware. It could be either gold hardware or silver hardware. Now, what would be really special is if, and I don't know if this is a, if this exists, um, but if they could do it in rose gold hardware. I know I've seen that on, um, like they do it on the Birkin. Um, they do it on like that Grizz color, which is like a gray. They have another taupey color that I've seen it on before. Um, so I don't know if they do it on Kelly's. If there's any um, essays down in the comments or in the audience, let me know because that would be a dream. So Kelly 25, Salier, Epson leather, color chai with rose gold hardware amazing okay so like i said i'm sorry if you think this wish list sucks because half the stuff that's on my wish list i've either already got it as like a christmas present or will be receiving it or i'm gonna get it before the end of 2022 and then the other stuff like i can't even really tell you my wish list for 2023 because like i said it hasn't come out yet like i don't know about it yet um and there's my house on the wish list love that for me um, possibly, okay, two more things, last thing. Uh, possibly a pair of the Givenchy Shark boots. I probably had my eye on these boots for, I'd say at least a year, either in this black color or maybe in like the really cream, the really pretty cream color. I just have to see how these calves are looking because like the thickest place on my body is definitely my thighs, baby, these thighs. So I don't know, cause I feel like, well, I don't know, maybe it doesn't look better on girls with skinny calves. Maybe my thick calves will be nice in those. But anyways, I need to try them on first. And then last but not least, uh, Chanel 22S heart bag. Now you guys are probably gonna be like, what do you mean a heart bag? You have two of them already. <laughs> so I've got the black one and the hot pink one, but I want the waist bag. I just think that would be so cute. So I either want the waist bag in the hot pink or in the black. I feel like the black is obviously more practical, so. Another thing that's on my wish list, but again, it is very possible that I'll get this before the end of the year. It is this Balenciaga Lake Cagole, and you guys are gonna be like, what is your obsession with this bag? I own one, there was another one on my wish list, and then this one on here too. Um, I just think it's so pretty though. Again, is it practical? Probably not, but it is velvet, it is bright, gorgeous, deep hot pink, and it is beautiful, and I must have it. So again, you guys, this is more of like an end of 2022, probably first month of 2023 wish list because obviously and I keep repeating myself the 2023 things have not come out yet so catch me again in 2023 um what will we'll give the designers and the brands a little time so maybe I'll do another wish list for you guys in like March or something but anyways that brings us to the conclusion of today's video and I'm so excited if you can't tell like I just I love the way that God works in my life and I know what he's doing in here and he's getting me ready and I'm so excited. The fact that I found the builder and the exact floor plan that I want and now I have a visual. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this, but Joel Olstein talked about this in a sermon. I'm sure it's in the Bible somewhere about having a capstone. And I also did the same thing with my this house that I built. So um, they were building it and I took 
a brick from the outside of my house. It was, they still had it in a pile and I took one and I literally kept it in my car. And so I would see it every day and it would just help me to kind of keep the faith and keep my eye on the prize essentially. Um, so having a capstone is really important. And again, I'm a very visual person. And so that's kind of what finding the floor plan means to me. Cause now I can look at it every day. I'd, like I said, I've picked out furniture already. <laughs> like I know how it's going to look. So now I have a, I have a goal, I have a visual and I'm so excited. So yes, you guys. Well, that wraps up today's luxury wish list, you guys. And also do not forget to visit the sponsor of today's video. I will put all the good stuff down in the description box below you guys. I love you so much. And hopefully you'll see me sooner than later. <laughs>